Just over a year back, we had a 2021 Toyota Sienna Hybrid, and we took it out on our real-world highway fuel economy test and got an okay number from the trip computer, but a really bad number from the pump calculation. I think something was off with that test, and we finally have a chance to retest with a 2022 Sienna. So let's head out and see what this thing can do. Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the real world highway fuel economy test on the 2022 Toyota Sienna. In today's video we're going to head out and do 50 miles out and 50 miles back, averaging 70 miles per hour to get realistic fuel economy number for this big minivan. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. I'm a pretty big fan of the Sienna. The way I see it is if you're getting a minivan, you really want to maximize everything in your life. You want to maximize space, versatility, usability, utility from your vehicle, and efficiency. And that's why I like the idea of a very simple hybrid powertrain for this thing. And that doesn't mean that it's bad to drive. It gets 3,500 pound tow rating, you can throw a hitch on there and it's plenty good for around town so if you do want to see more on the sienna check the links in the description we're gonna have a dm test drive we've got a review of the jbl audio system and a little bit of live drive coverage as well so why do we do this test well the epa's highway fuel economy test which gives the sienna 36 miles per gallon here in all-wheel drive form that test only averages 48 miles per hour side note look at how good the turning radius is in this thing we know that people take their vehicles on long road trips, especially minivans, if you're going out and about and taking the family to Disney World or something, and you'd like to know what sort of numbers you can realistically expect in the real world. A quick side note, there were some comments on the previous Sienna fuel economy test where people would have wanted to see a fuel economy test fully loaded with people. And I did think about how we could possibly shoot that, but that means I'd have to take uh, find seven people essentially six or seven other people who are willing to sit in the car for over an hour while I do this test pretty much two hours through the whole ordeal so wasn't super <laughs> realistic or, or feasible it's it's it is something I would like to test but today we're just gonna stick with the, uh, good old me so in order to test this we're gonna head out and do 100 miles come back fill up at the same pump using the same three click feeling method and get a result a few things to note for today, outside temperatures 43 degrees Fahrenheit. That cooler temperature along with the winter blend of fuel will likely affect fuel economy, so I could see a summer result being a mile per gallon or two better than what we get today. Our tire pressures have been set to their door placard 35 PSI cold, and we're going to run the climate control at 73 degrees auto. Alright, let's hop out and fill it up. 11.220 gallons going in for our first fill. By the way, this car has 4,000 miles on it, so it should be well into break-in. Some people were concerned about the break-in miles on the last Sienna we tested. Before we start the engine, we're going to reset our GPS and the car's trip computer. And we're ready to begin. A few different drive modes here in the Sienna. You've got Sport, Normal, and Eco. We're going to drive in Eco. Heated seat off, climate on auto. We're going to take it nice and easy over the highway, about half a mile away, and pick up the test from there. One quick side note before I do leave, however, is I'd like to point out for you real geeky fuel economy people in here that we do have about a three-quarters full battery, hybrid battery right now, so we're probably going to be running on mostly battery getting over to, to, the, uh, to the highway. So that'll help out a little bit, but hopefully the 100 miles we travel kind of smooths that data point out. The goal of this test isn't to hypermile. We're not trying to do the best possible fuel economy out of this car. A lot of people write in and say things like, oh, if you traveled at 65 miles per hour, the fuel economy result would be even better. Or, oh, it's a hybrid. It's not made for highway driving. You get better economy in the city. Yeah, I know that. But the point is, if you need to go out and get somewhere 400 miles away, what are you going to do? You're going to go on the highway and you're going to go about the speed limit, hopefully right around there. So in order to test that and test this real-world sort of driving, we're going to get up to highway speed at a reasonable pace. And we're going to set our cruise control at a GPS indicated 72 miles per hour. That should allow us to average about 70 over the whole test. Like I said, got a plenty of power from this engine. I'm a big fan of Toyota's 2.5 liter hybridized powertrain. I think it's just a it's a good blend of fuel economy and power. The 2.5 liter does sound pretty raspy when you get up to the higher revs, and it does have to rev out. 
in order to, to make all of its power, but if you can deal with that, then pretty nice powertrain. Let's see if I can go without radar cruise control. It's going to be better for this sort of test. Yep, there we go, constant speed. Looks like our speedometer is reading about two miles per hour high according to our GPS. So we're going to have to go up to 74 on the car's readout in order to get 72 on the GPS. Come on. Any moment now, you can do it, car. Toyota sometimes has, have a tendency to set one mile per hour below their um, cruise control setting. But we're up here, 72. Let's close this real quick. A little bit more wind noise than I would like. I'll have to see if it's the same as we're heading back. Ooh, that was a new expedition. Huh, that looks pretty good. I didn't realize they facelifted that. Other than that, engine calms right down. Not really any road noise as well, so just dealing with some of that wind noise. All right, we're gonna continue on with the test and catch up with you at the end. In the meantime, enjoy this time lapse of the entire trip. Coming into the end of the highway fuel economy test here in the Siena, what do you know, remarkably similar on the dash to what we got last time we tested. We're at 32.7 right now, a little bit below EPA, but still a very respectable number for a van of this size. Still a little bit more exterior noise than I would like from a vehicle at $55,000, but really not too bad in here. I've been decently comfortable, good places to rest your arms, nice power adjustable steering column. Yeah, it's a, it's a good car for eating up highway miles, and hey, when you can have a vehicle this large, able to move this much stuff or this many people, and get pretty darn good fuel economy, I'm all about it. Now, unfortunately, we did run into some strong traffic, some stops traffic on the way out. So, technically, this isn't a perfect run. Something about testing these Siennas, we just keep having issues, apparently. I do think that the results should still be fairly accurate because being the hybrid, it was able to do mostly electric driving when we were in stop and go. And then as I accelerated back up to 70 miles per hour, our average went back right about to where it was when we took off. But it does mean our average speed is a good bit lower. I still think the, the test has its integrity. I think it's still a valuable number, but just want to disclose that. We also ran into some heavy rain out at the end of our test as well. So not perfect, but again, real world test, real world results. So let's get back to the pump, see what we get. Guys, I don't understand what it is with Toyota's filler necks. I, I, I'm only fitting 1.9 gallons in here and I'm literally filled it up so that I can see gas right on the top. I, I don't know where it went before. <laughs> I filled it up totally normally before this and it was totally fine, normal three-click fueling method. Then I go and try to do it now, and it won't even take two gallons. So, two Siennas now in a row. I just can't get normal fills in, and we've had this with a lot of other Toyota vehicles. Very frustrating for me trying to do this sort of test. Because, if we go ahead and do the math right here, 102.2 divided by uh, 1.918, 
We're getting 50 miles per gallon. That's clearly not accurate. So I, I'm just going with the car's trip readout. It's, it's just annoying. I don't know what it is. I try to do this test. I do, do this test with literally every car we get in here and it works fine. For some reason, Toyotas, especially the Sienna, get stupid fills. <laughs> So we're just gonna go again, 33 miles per gallon. That's what the car got. That seems pretty darn accurate for a hybrid, highway speeds, a little bit below EPA. And it's pretty darn on par with what we got in the previous Sienna. We do know we've got an 18 gallon fuel tank in here. So 18 gallons times 33 miles per gallon is giving you an effective highway cruising range, 590 miles here in the Sienna. So please excuse my frustration there. I do still think this is an excellent highway people mover and obviously the the random filling amounts there's, that's not going to throw you off in the real world there's nothing wrong with that it's just frustrating to try to get a scientific repeatable result here for fuel economy testing when it's all over the map but thank you all so much for watching if you do want to see more on the sienna check the links in the description and we'll see you on the next one i'm charlie from daily motor and as always drive on mm -hmm.